don't put too much about anyone I've known in the past because I don't want to hurt anyone or involve anyone. I just want to be left in peace. Since she became Mick Jagger's girlfriend, Chrissy Shrimpton has been continually in the public eye. I'm Jean Shrimpton's sister and Mick Jagger's ex-girlfriend, and now Steve Marriott's ex-girlfriend. I've become a reflection of them and there is nothing to say about me. I hate publicity. It has never done anything good for me. Publicity upsets her although she realized she could not avoid it completely while she was dating famous boyfriends. She had in her list of admirers two of the most popular lead singers in the country. I knew it was stupid to avoid talking about them because when people discovered I was going with Mick and then Steve, they wanted to know all about it. But it became awkward when they dug too deeply. They asked me, will you marry Steve Marriott when I had only just started dating him? It didn't help things much. Now I have a new boyfriend and I'm happy with him. He is lots of fun and not at all famous. I hope he never becomes famous. Although Mick and Chris broke up because they were incompatible, his fame didn't help their relationship. Chrissy was definite when he spoke to me this week and said, Please remember that I knew Mick long before he was famous. I never wanted a famous boyfriend. By the time the Stones made it really big, I was too emotionally involved with Mick to back out. But I would have backed out had I felt less for Mick. I didn't want the limelight. It was the same with Steve. We had been friends for years long before he was well known. When Mick and I broke up, I was ill and my nerves were bad through constant badgering by Mick's fans. I wanted to be left alone. Then on New Year's Eve I went out with a crowd of old friends including Steve Marriott. And I was in the deep end again. Chrissy laughed. She often ends up laughing at her troubles. She is a gay person who likes company, and whom people warms too easily. She's understanding and interested in others. She can't really enjoy herself if she knows someone with her is not having a good time. Is this one of the things that attracted such sought-after boyfriends? Chris doesn't claim to know what attracts them. Don't ask me. I just like who I like. I stay in the background as much as I can. Perhaps it was the fact that she accepts that the men in her life should take the limelight that attracted personalities like Mick and Steve to her. Chrissy isn't showy in any way. She wears mod clothes, mini skirts and bell bottoms, but usually in dark shades rather than in eye-catching reds and silvers. When she goes out with unknown friends, she often uses a false identity so that people won't know who she is. I like to be left alone as though I am no one special, because that is what I am. Having a famous sister like top model Jean Shrimpton can be a disadvantage to a shy girl who doesn't like publicity. I don't get jealous of her. I just get bored always being in her shadow. I wish I could be taken at face value. I don't want to be compared and analyzed. I want a quiet life without people hating or loving me. Mick's fans mostly hated her. People used to pick on me in the street when I was going with Mick. It was awful. She admitted Steve's fans were the opposite. They sent me dear little letters wishing me happiness. When she was with Steve, I asked her lots of questions. Her answer was, I'm happy with Steve for the moment but it's also private. If you talk about it, you ruin it. Some things just can't be talked about. Perhaps she was persuaded to talk too much. Anyway she's now finished with Steve Marriott. I don't want to sound as though I don't like him because I do. He's a very good friend. It is just that romantically it's over. No matter why you decide a romance is finished, you are both brought down. I felt brought down at first but now I have this lovely new boyfriend. I'm very happy with him and I hope he never gets famous.